Hi, welcome back to Bloomington Tutors. Today we're going to be doing some more financial formulas. Now last time we did some amortization tables and we're going to see that PMT formula come back here. But now we're going to move on to our PV, our FB, our N per, and our rate. Now those were all arguments in our PMT formula. You'll see what I mean later. And they're actually their own formulas. So knowing just the PMT formula, you're able to easily figure out these next few. So again, we're going to be doing our PMT. Now, there's a more thorough explanation in our amortization video, so feel free to check that out if you're having a little bit of difficulty, but I'll just fly through this one. Remember, PV is always negative. And there you have it. And again, it's the same thing. You can either copy your formula down or you can do it again. We want it in months. Terms is already in months. Negative PV. That's a breeze for you guys that watch the amortization video. So now we want our present value. Now the type of question you might be asked with this one is, is this a good investment or is this a bad investment? This will make sense a little bit later on. So we'll go ahead and do our formula now. Equals PV. PV is an argument of PMT and it's always negative. Keep that in mind. So PV is always in years. So what the rate, annual interest rate, years, perfect. And per the terms, which are in months. We want them in years. So 36 months is three years. How did we get that? We divided by 12. PMT, we do not have a PMT here. So what you have to do is you close this argument. And since that one's a required argument and we do not have it, we have to go into our optional arguments in the brackets. Now our optional argument here is future value and that's what we do have. Future value, close. We got a negative answer, perfect. So the type of question you might be asked here, again, is that good investment, bad investment? The question might say, your friend wants you to invest $1,500, and in 36 months, you'll have $2,000. Now, we just did this little formula to find out that it's actually worth more than what they're asking for. So it is a good investment. Now, if he wanted you to give him $1,800, it would be a very bad investment because it's only worth $1,600 and some change. Okay. So it, once you understand how to do that, the PV is very simple. We'll do it again. PV, annual interest rate, terms, in years, no PMT, FV, answer is always negative. Perfect. So the type of question you might be asked with the future value formula would be something with a savings account. Now you only have $100. This um, bank account is offering you a 3.5% interest rate for two years. So you want to know how much money will you have at the end of that. So you do the FV. So FV, they want it in years. And per in years. There's no PMT. And PV, always negative. There you go. You all have $107.12. So now what if we saved up a little bit more money, got a better rate, and held it in there for longer? What would it be? FV is our rate. N per. No PMT. Present value. Always negative. There you have it. $607.75. So now, what if they were to ask you about a college fund where your parents put away $10,000 and it's at a 3% interest rate and you're allowed to take up $200 a month. How long would that last you? Anytime you're looking for the number of terms or how long something is, that's that N per again. So again, another argument of the PMT. So again, our rate is 3%, we want it in years, so annual. Our PMT is $200 a month, so times 12 for a year. And we have a negative PV. This would last us 4.52 years of school. How long would it last you? N per, annual interest rate, PMT, negative PV. So the last type of question they would ask you and the last argument of PMT would be to find the annual interest rate. So in two years, you want to turn your $100 investment into $112.35. Well, what rate do you need to do that? So we'll just do the rate. N per, two years, annual, we're good. We don't have a PMT, negative PV. And then our FE, close. You need a 6% annual rate. And again, we'll do it again. Our N per, no PMT, our negative PV. And then our FE, close, you'll need a 15% annual rate for that one. If any of these were a little bit iffy with you, feel free to book another session with your tutor. I'm sure they'll be happy to go over them with you. Again, good luck on your exams.